It's a new take on an American tavern. Tomorrow, the doors officially open at North Iowa's newest restaurant. KIMT News 3's Alex Jurgens joins us live from inside the new Markley and Blythe Tavern in Mason City. He's got a smile on. I think you got to try some of that new food, didn't you today? Well, Tyler, the party is getting started here at the new Market and Blythe. You can see people just right behind me just walking in here. And when you when you do walk in here, you kind of feel at home just with, just because of the aesthetics and, of course, the delicious food they're going to offer. Uh, Markley and Blythe will be open, officially opening to the public tomorrow in the space that was formerly occupied by the 1910 Grill here at the Historic Park Inn. Steve Palmer has been in the hospitality industry for a long time, starting as a dishwasher and working on, on his way up to being the founder of Indigo Road Hospitality Group, operators of the new restaurant. He describes Markley and Blythe as an approachable atmosphere. To me, when we look at the history of taverns in America, um, they were always a place that kind of welcomed all. And, and that's really our inspiration behind Markley and Blythe. Now tonight they are having having a soft opening for some clients here, but again, they will officially open to the public tomorrow. And if you're wondering what type of food they're going to offer, well, let me try to entice you here. Short rib ravioli, hanger steak, even a duck pot pie, just to name a few. Live in Mason City, Alex Jurgens, KIMT News 3. All right, sounds great. Can't wait to get there and try it. So the question is, how did the name Markley and Blythe come about? So it's actually named after the two attorneys who brought well-renowned architect Frank Lloyd Wright to Mason City to design the historic park inn.